Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Steve. I'm a principal engineer in big tech, Linux enthusiast and contributor, and this is Linux, by the way. Today is an exciting day because we have Ubuntu 2404 being released, which is their newest long-term support release. The only thing is, is when I tried to install it, this is what I got. So you can see the spinners going here. Nothing's really happening. Uh, it's certainly not installing. You can't click anything. My fans are going at 100%, and so I've given this a lot of time to sit here and try and work through it. One of the ways we can try and troubleshoot this is using the terminal. So let's go ahead and pull up top, and what we see here is we have Python 3.10 using 100% CPU, just continuously, but never actually installing. And so it's just stuck here, and this is not the first time it happened either. It's happened to me on several of the betas, and it can happen at different points in the installer also, but the installer looks to be the culprit here. Uh, we can also check the log files by checking out var log, installer, subiquity, server, debug, and then the PID number, which is 6480. And what you'll see here is, is like if you look at the timestamp, it's at 2312. So it's been going at 100% and we're at uh, 28 minutes after the next day already with no updates to this log file. And so it's not even doing anything. It's not logging anything out. Uh, we can also go to var log and see what other files are updated. And so if we do find dot dash mn minus one, we can see, yeah, there's no logs, no installations really happening. It's just, it's just an infinite loop. Normally we could write this off to some sort of odd error, et cetera, but I reproduced it on two different laptops with two different chipsets. The system 76 has the Intel chipset. The framework 13 has the AMD chipset. They both have separate USB keys. I've checked the integrity of both, and there's something going on where the installer is trying to probe a disk configuration of some sort or a Wi-Fi configuration, and it just gets stuck. I'm gonna give you some quick ideas for workarounds if you get stuck here. Uh, keep in mind, the DD command can be extremely destructive. You can definitely lose data. Do not do this unless you know exactly what you're doing. But if you do an F dish dash L, you're gonna see all your devices. In this case, we have a flash drive, uh, which is, dev SVA, and we also have the dev NVMe 0 and 1, which is our two terabyte drive uh, for the operating system. If you think it's a issue with the disk, what you can do is, is you can do a DDIF dev 0 OF equals this drive. And then what we can do is, is we can say that, uh, probably give it a block size of 1M which is one megabyte, an account of 512. If you run this, what it will do is it will totally wipe out all the configuration that's left over in the disk. So you might have like an EFI partition, you might have a GPT partition table, and these things can be picked up by different operating systems. So like if you ever have a USB key and you can't format it in Windows, for instance, it's because it might think that there's data on there and it can't actually access it. But if you zero it out again, uh, it can totally do that. And so. It's a good tip to work around this stuff. Uh, keep in mind though, very dangerous. Don't do it unless you really know what you're doing. The second thing we can do is we can also disable Wi-Fi because I've seen this installer get stuck multiple times on the Wi-Fi step. Unfortunately for the Ubuntu team, this isn't great for an LTS release. I'm not gonna go ahead and try and tweak their image or make this work because I don't know what else is broke after this. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Fedora 40 on my systems and we'll see in the future if there's different blog entries or troubleshooting, et cetera, that can sort all this mess out and get it to install in more systems. Over the next two weeks, we also expect guides from both Framework and System76 on how to install this release. So maybe there'll be some updated patches or configuration settings which resolve this. Unfortunately, this is also not an isolated incident. There's been several people across the internet, including Kesa Muratori, who has a great course on computer hardware and fundamentals and performance who had this issue. There's been people on Reddit, there's been people on Launchpad, people on forums. And so it's not just isolated and I would really like to see this get addressed. So what's next? For me, I'm gonna go back to Fedora 40. It installs clean, it runs all my programs. I don't have to worry about the Snap Store, the Flat Hub works well. And we can let this release just kind of sort itself out, maybe get some patches, maybe get some more testing under the belt, etc. And then we'll check it out later. But until then, uh, it's Fedora. Talk to you later.